Okay, so let's get down to it. What are some of the key elements you need to think about when setting up your maker space? And the key is all in the word. It's all about the space. We're gonna take a look around our maker space to see what elements you might like to incorporate in yours. One of the features you might like to consider adding to your maker space are writable surfaces. Think mobile whiteboards, think writable tables, think writable walls, and what about all the glass you've got in your classroom? All these surfaces can be written on with whiteboard markers. What a great way for students to ideate solutions to problems. It fits in perfectly to the problem-based classroom. And for students undertaking the design thinking process, what an awesome tool. Okay, so what's another essential consideration for your makerspace? And it starts with an M. It's all about mobility. And mobility comes down to having wheels. What would you put your wheels on? Well, you might put it on chairs, tables, and of course your storage. But why is that important? That's a question we get asked here all the time. It's all about flexibility. What if you want your whole class to collaborate? You might want to push all the furniture to the side. All that dragging, that's tough work. But with wheels, it makes it easy. And then you want your, your students to get together, collaborate in groups. Wheels make it super fast, super efficient, and super easy. You can transform the focal point of your classroom whenever you need to. And what about equipment? What about that bank of laptops that you need down the end of the hallway? That's a hell of a lot of carrying. But with wheels on a storage solution like this, it's just one push. Flexibility is absolutely easy with wheels. Okie dokie, so now we're getting down into the nitty gritty of your makerspace. You know, when you're setting up your makerspace, you're probably gonna end up with lots and lots of bits and pieces like this. What do you need for that? You need some great storage. As you can see here, what we've got is a simple storage solution. Don't forget, it's on wheels, but it's got lots of awesome crates that you might already have around your school for another purpose that you can use to store your robots, your craft supplies, just about everything you'll need in your makerspace. But one thing you'll notice it's missing is a lock, so it isn't secure. So if you've got lots of valuable items like computers and high-end robotics, don't forget to look for something with a lock. And of course, mentioning that word robotics and computers, we start to think about power again. In that kind of situation, you need to make sure your storage center has integrated charging, okay? Because then when your students come, they pull out their laptop or they pull out their robot, it's gonna work first time. Because you know the most frustrating thing when you're a teacher, you're all set up, you're ready to go, and the batteries die. So a really essential consideration. Don't forget the wheels, don't forget essential amount of storage for your needs, and of course, one awesome thing you can do with your storage space is it suddenly becomes a table for something else. Could you put a 3D printer up here? Absolutely. So Joe's already alluded to the fact that we need power in our school. I like to have our PowerPoint sitting at about hip height. There's not one here, but that's where it needs to be. Make it easy for us. We don't want to be bending down to get our power all the time. Students are going to be coming to school with their tablets and they don't want to bring a big brick like this. If they can just bring in a cable, their tablet, and in that PowerPoint on the wall, there's a little USB charge, so much easier for them, so much easier for charging all of your robots all of the devices that we're going to be introducing into the school. With all the power around the room, and you need to spread that around so that we can do collaboration as well, that needs to be spread evenly around the room. Data needs to accompany that as well. And the other thing we need to be having in our classroom is wireless access. That's gonna be the big thing. We've got BYOD in our schools now, and BYOD is introducing lots and lots and lots of devices. They need to be able to connect so that we can have that really rich learning that we're trying to get with our new innovative spaces.